Hey everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, and for today's video, well, if you happen to look at the title of the video and the thumbnail, then you probably know. Anyways, for those of you who don't, I've got this. Uh, now then, I really am not sure what to expect from this thing. All I can tell you is that when I originally saw them at Walmart, I was thinking, oh, that looks cool, but uh, not for 20 bucks. Then it dropped to six dollars. I can do that. I can do that. So let's see what this, what it even is. Okay, so it's like they've got tape all over this thing, although it is at least kind of flimsy, but then again, it's like the whole packages too, and wow, that that was almost too easy. I'm suspicious now. Okay, like... Like, I'm not really so sure that it should be bending that easily. This is just, it's useless. So how about that? Okay, it looks like we have an instructional booklet of some sort that I'll probably skim through and ignore. Um, oh, okay, so we've got some watercolor paper. It looks like there's already stuff printed on them, but As you well know, when it comes to kits like this, I haven't exactly had good luck with paper, with watercolor paper that comes in these kits, but ooh, that might actually change. I mean, this is actually... This actually feels like it might be halfway decent paper. Color me surprised. Okay, so I'm sorry for falling on the paper a bit too long. Oh, it looks like it comes with some with prints already on them, although this one, it looks like some of them have been kind of, like this, this is like the kind of stuff that you could just like peel off with your thumb and this one, eh. But these ones are blank, so I'm, eh, I might do one one of these and one of the uh, blank ones. Why not? Th they're small, they're small. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Looks like this comes with a water dish, which is great, I guess, if you don't have your own. However, I am gonna go fetch my uh, cups from the shelf that I forgot to get earlier. And okay, so here are like these tip things and like it kind of feels like a crayon, I want to say. So those are just kept like that. Yeah, so let's see here. Okay, I guess they're watercolor cream sticks. That's what the thing says. Maybe, maybe I will go through this more thoroughly. See what I've actually got here. And these are the styluses that you use with them. So I wonder if they're gonna be anything like those um, things that I got from, I believe it was King Art. Uh, like, I, I refer you to the video that I titled, it's like drawing with lipstick, okay? <laughs> so watch for the little eye bubble to pop up right there because that's the vibe I'm getting from these things. And we have a paintbrush. Um, I've seen better. I have also seen worse. And we've also got a little sponge here, and I do appreciate the mixing palette. So it's all in this big case. However, this whole thing is really clunky, and my desk is tiny. So I think I'm gonna need to move things over for swatching and figure out where I'm gonna put stuff. <laughs> so give me a sec. Okay, I'm just gonna use this one as the swatch sheet because the design is already partially damaged, so nothing lost there. This is one of the styluses without 
the cap on. So let's see, just... Okay, it sounded like it clicked in place, huh? Well, there we go. All right. Okay, yeah, this is just like those... those creams that I've used before. Those things were fun. I, I really enjoyed those, so I have kind of missed this. Okay, so it is very much like a crayon on the surface, and now we gotta add water to it. Okay. Oh, I got a wonderful shot of my hand there. And... Oh, there we go. It's melting pretty nicely. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good melt. Anyways, I'm going to finish up with these and then try out one of the little illustrations that they gave me and then do an original piece. So stick around for that. It's like I'm waving a magic wand. Hey, what do you know? It's just like magic again. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I know. I'm not as funny as I think I am. Anyways, here are the swatches. And I have to say, I think that the colors came out pretty well. I gotta be careful since it's still kind of wet here. But overall, I, I do like the color selection. I think the color selection is good. And this thing, it, it's a little bit unique. Um, I mean, like it's kind of weird having to do this number. Like, here, let me just find one. So you click it on like that and then you want to stick it back in there and there's a little button up here that you press to release. So it's a lot of work but at the same time this does keep everything kind of compact and I use the term loosely just because like the whole tray thing itself is really big and clunky, but I'm gonna color in one of these and also it's like from what I can feel like these lines are textured and I believe that they're actually designed to be peeled off. So um, we'll see how that works and of course an original piece as well. So let's get to this. First off, I have to say, it is such a relief to get some halfway decent watercolor paper out of a kit. In fact, despite the small size of the paper sheets, it held up pretty well. With this little practice piece, I wanted to focus on the cream sticks, uh, the, the nubs. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not even quite sure what to call these things. The, the little watercolor cream thingies, I wanted to utilize the whole stylus thing that this kit kind of revolves around. These are very similar to the cream sticks that I used previously, although those ones had a bunch more product in them as you could twist the barrels like a tube of chapstick and boom, you've got more cream stick. God, why is this sounding so wrong? These ones, they're more like sample size. However, there is a lot more of the paint, uh, cream, uh, whatever you want to call it. There is a lot more of it than you would suspect. As is the case with the vast majority of watercolors, you add water thus stretching the pigment. That's one of the reasons I love watercolors so much. Lasting power! Plus these particular watercolors, the cream sticks, they're, they're just plain fun to use. Now, one issue I did have was that these things, they do smear. I admit, I have a tendency to sort of rub my hand in my art. It's terrible, I know. I have the same issue with gel pens always smearing those dumb things, 
So yeah, something to keep in mind when using these or other art supplies like it. The other thing I'd like to mention, these lines, they're so tiny on the paper and the creams are so chunky, but they're still fun to use. Okay, well, over all these coloring pages, like, they are fun. I mean, like, it's kind of a mess, and a lot of the lines are really, really small. Like, not exactly fit for big, chunky things like this. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. But I'm still going to attempt to do an illustration. However, I'm actually going to make use of this thing here. This... I want to do a satisfying peel sort of thing, but it needs to dry, so that'll have to wait for the end of the video. However, it is time to do an actual illustration. I know, I've only said that like three times. Now, the sketch I'm starting with here is a little something that I found on Pixabay. Such a wonderful site. I have sung their praises numerous times on this channel before, but I'll do it again. For those of you that don't know, Pixabay is a wonderful site that hosts a plethora of copyright-free images. If you haven't already, be sure to check them out. It's a wonderful tool for artists to use. Now, let's talk some more about this kit here as a whole. First, I'm gonna go over a few of the cons. The clunky packaging. This might come off as a bit of a nitpick, but if you've got a small workspace like me, this can cause a bit of a pickle. Also, that dumb lid won't stay on without tape. Overall, the packaging has a lot of dead space, but if you've got the space to accommodate it, at the very least, it does have some functionality. My other con, I think that the paintbrush could have been a little longer. I personally prefer longer brush handles, but I also don't think that the manufacturers had grown adult YouTubers in mind when this thing was produced. So there is that. I also think that the brush head is a little bit too big for the incredibly small sheets of paper that come in this kit. And this one is a bit of a nitpick again, but the whole click thing, the novelty wears out fast. Yes, I'm well aware that the click thing is kind of this kit's entire selling point. Eh, that doesn't change the fact that it does, it gets old fast. But I think I've nitpicked enough, so how about some pros? First pro, I've already stated several times in this video, but it warrants saying again. Decent paper in that kit. Seriously, it can't be stressed enough. You can't do much with water media on flimsy paper. You just can't. Luckily, this watercolor paper was thick and could stand up to multiple layers. Such a wonderful change of pace, especially considering other kits I've tried on this channel. Another wonderful part about this kit, it just about comes with everything you need to get started. I mean, even if you don't have a pen or pencil available, the box contains a few coloring pages. You get the watercolor creams, a small water dish, and a sponge to clean your brush off. Granted, I have my designated water cups, but the fact that these were included for those who may not was very cool. Uh, the mixing palette. Of all the things I cannot be without when painting of any sort, I need some kind of mixing space. I don't care if it's made out of solid gold and diamonds or out of the cheapest plastic out there. I love having a palette on standby. While this palette may be of the cheap plastic variety, 
it does the job. And there is plenty of real estate to mix and match to your heart's content. Overall, this kit is a great way to try out a rather obscure watercolor uh, kinda thing. Are they creams? Crayons? Lipstick? I don't care. They're fun to use and that's all that mattered. Just be aware that these things can get a little bit messy. Not like acrylic paints or paper mache or anything. I just want you, my lovely viewers, to be aware. Now, I've got to ask, have you seen these kits before? If so, did you pick one up? Post in the comments below. As always, I love hearing what you guys have to say. Okay, so overall thoughts on these things? It, it was it was a lot of fun to use. Yes, I know I said that earlier and all that, but I, I really did enjoy using these. Um, would I have paid 20 bucks for this thing? Uh, probably not, especially considering I got the, uh, the set of the, um, the cream sticks. I can't believe it. I think it was King Art. Let me double check that real quick. Yep, it was King Art. Uh, these things. Like, I got these things for, like, this, I don't think I have the price tag on here anymore, but this was like a 24 set that, it was under 20 bucks, I can tell you that much. And this kit here, I'm trying to make sure I don't spill everything out of it. This thing here, it was originally 20 bucks, got it for six, and like, look how, look how small that is. It, it's like, once, once you use what's in this little bit here, that's it. That's it, you're done. But, the actual, like, I don't know if they're crayons, creams, watercolors, something or other. Hang on a second, because I gotta drag it out of this box here. Just wanna pull one out so that you can see it. Ah, jeez. There we go. Like, this whole barrel is filled with the, the cream stuff. So there's, and I opened this the wrong way. Oh good, but I was gonna get it closed. Jeez, I've been doing that a lot lately. Anyways, all of my little nitpicking and fussing aside, I, I do think that the kit, it, it, it was pretty good. It was pretty good, maybe not $20 good, but Definitely for the six dollars. It was really good. And I had a lot of fun with it. I mean like I mean, There we go again. I Really really liked it. Yes, I know that the pen isn't actually included, but you know I'm a little bit of artistic liberty there By the way, I was a uh, master's touch so you can actually see it. Master's Touch Graphic. Like, seriously? It's not a half bad fine liner. Not half bad at all. Anyways, with all that being said, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it's helped you out in some way. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, while we're at it, why not visit my Instagram at Silver Hyena Art. And yeah, that's that's what I've got. So this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Oh, wait. There's still one more thing to do. I've got to rub off these lines here. I'm just hoping that it'll actually be somewhat satisfying. I don't want it to... Take off. Wow. Um, somehow I thought this was going to be way more satisfying, but <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> eh. 
like I think I'm rubbing off more of the the the, the wax. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, okay, there we go. Now that is nice. That is some nice, there we go. Like, look at that. Yeah, get, get out of here. Like leaving those nice clean lines. Okay, that's what I was after. That's what we want. Okay, there we go. But uh, yeah, my hands are getting a bit stained. Okay, there it is. And <laughs> yeah, uh, you're gonna get stains on your fingers, but eh, look at that. I mean, like this thing, this was fun. This was fun to play around with, but I also love the way my bunny turned out. Like, you know what? But that's why they give you these coloring pages and blank sheets. And of course we've got swatches here. And um, oh yeah, um, that's right. We are getting to the, um, Oh yeah, uh, bye! <laughs> I'm having too much fun with these things.